Hello folks, welcome along to the vlog. Just to answer a question from yesterday's, I do use these cheap pH pens, they're spot on. So, I'm here cracking open a beer at the start of a vlog, but at the end of a brew day. So today, I've brewed a New England IPA with the Bernie Sanders yeast, which I've been cultivating on a stir plate. Oh, just look at that. It's classic, isn't it, that? This is the proof of concept, by the way. So, yeah, I've been brewing New England IPA. Cheers. Oh, it's outstanding. And, come with me. Uh, that's a stir plate with the caveat yeast in the background, in case you can hear it. So, yeah, why do I want to crack open a beer? Second day on the bounce. Uh Anyone who think I'm drinking on the job? Well, the time is 7.21. And the reason I'm here so late is because when I ordered a load of hops the other week, I managed to get hold of some Galaxy, Eldorado, Amarillo, all around or below the 30, 35 pound a kilo mark. And when they arrived, I realized my mistake. Half of them, were leaf hops and my kit is only really geared up for pellet. So, this is what I've just had to wash out of the boil kettle, which is there for scale. There's five kilos of leaf hops there. Five kilos. It's just taken me the best part of 45 minutes to take the pipe work off. That's a two inch outlet. So I had to take the uh, pipe off under there just so I could wash everything out and then use the squeegee to rake it all down. So now I'm going to have to pull all this to one side so it's able to drain. I mean, there's a lot of weight in here now that they've, uh, they've absorbed. Oh God, I've got no chance. It's not one-handed. I'm pissing in the wind here, I think. Oh my goodness. It looks like there's a lot of beer with it as well, but there isn't. That's all mainly the rinse water that I've used to wash these out. But we managed to get five kilos of hops out, 500 litres of beer into the tank, and the ABV on this as well is only about 4.7, so we are looking at a bit of a monster in terms of uh, hopping. These all went in to the Whirlpool. There was no boil additions whatsoever in this beer. Oh dear me. You know what, I'm gonna have to kind of just put, oh, trip over the bloody thing. I'm gonna have to put the uh, camera down, otherwise this ain't gonna work, is it? What do you think? Ugh. Jesus. So all this is going to have to go into our biffa bin because our cattle and sheep won't eat this kind of stuff, unfortunately. So there's no real way, apart from composting it, we don't have a big enough garden to compost this amount of, grey, of green matter. Oh, there we go, she's flowing. Got to be careful we don't send too many hops. Uh, sounds sloppy. Sounds sloppy from the hoppy. Ah, uh, this is the problem. Now I'm going to bung up my drain. There is a grate in there and it's going to catch all these hops. But I know what's going to happen. It's going to fill up and I'm going to have to put my arm in there and clean it out. Yeah, anyway. So, that is why. I'm starting a vlog because I'm ending the day with a beer. If that makes sense, I think it made sense to me. Oh, oh delicious. And also, we're in for the same thing tomorrow because we're brewing another New England IPA with the Kvirk yeast and 
in here we've got, yeah, it's rammed full, over 120 kilos of grain. And uh, this is the Bernie Sanders recipe. So two and a half kilos of Amarillo, two and a half kilos of Galaxy. And this is the Kvirk recipe, two and a half kilos of Citra, two and a half kilos of El Dorado. Fortunately, I believe both of those are in pellet. It's just the Amarillo and the Galaxy that I've got in leaf. So I'm gonna probably brew this twice if it comes out nice, just to use these up, or I might do a variation on the theme with just Galaxy on its own and maybe just Amarillo. But now I've got all these hops in leaf. I kind of want to use them up because otherwise I'll put it off as long as possible and then, well, they'll go out of date, won't they? We want to use them fresh. So I need to bag these buggers now. So shall we come back when I've finished shoveling? Well, I thought this was sufficiently weird enough to share with you. So in order to save weight, I split these hops up and, uh, well, I've decided, because I've got these great Uvex boots on, which are totally waterproof and easily washable, I'd uh, do a bit of hop stomping, the hop stomp to get all this juice out. And it seems to work quite well, it's compacting them down, but it's surprising actually how much liquid these actually hold, they're very spongy, I suppose is the right word. Look at that lot. Now I know it's not conventional, and you're probably not going to see many other commercial breweries doing something like this, but we're in a little bit of a pinch, aren't we? Don't use leaf hops. Mistake, buying them, I know. And of course, we don't want to put a load of sopping wet hops into the into the biffer bin for collection because they charge us on the weight of the collection. So it makes perfect sense in my mind anyway to squeeze it all out. See this is the second or third time I've stood on this pile and we're still liberating loads of juiciness I suppose if I still had my old apple press, I could have scooped all this on, compacted it down, and then uh, hygienically, of course, could even probably have used it for bittering. Because they've obviously still got all their alpha acids in these hops, you see. They've just been used for whirlpool. So I do know some breweries that recycle their whirlpool or flame out hops into the 60 minute boil for the following brew day then you're getting everything you need out of uh, out of a single resource if you like but don't worry I won't really be doing that here well now there's something you don't see every day. Honestly, that is about a metre square, that. So is that. That's a lot of hoppage. I've got some hops stuck in my boots. Have I got hops in my boots? Yeah, I've got hops in my boots. There we go. Good as new. You see, there's only one drawback though. I can't set the washer up for a... <laughs> the boil kettle up for a wash tonight because I managed to pull the seal off so that's the old seal it's lasted me the oh, best part of six months I'd have thought so I've replaced it with a shiny look at the colour difference shiny clear uh, plumber's gold by the way the best sealant on the market as you can see it's just a a bead, an even bead, all the way round, and then I've just gone round and I've coaxed the sides in 
so we've got a solid seal on there. I'm just going to leave this overnight to cure. There's the bag of hops. Look at that, it's filled a full 25 kilo sack. Uh, we are going to fire up the HLT for tomorrow's brew day. Lovely jabbly. But what we're not going to do is uh, set the uh, boil pump to come on. Normally I'd get the boil pump to come on at about four o'clock in the morning. But on this occasion, it's a no. So we're just gonna have the HLT come on and the HLT recirculation pump. And then hopefully when I come in the morning, first thing I'll do is check that that's set, close the lid, give it a caustic rinse. I use some chloroquest since it's been sat overnight. We'll give it a good rinse all the way through and uh, then give it an acid treatment and then continue with brewing the next batch of New England IPA. But I think that's it folks. That's how long it's taken me, look. 8.17. I'm gonna sign off. I'm also probably gonna turn this down a little bit as well, just so there's still some left in the flask in the morning. Anyway, folks, cheers and beers. We'll see you on the next episode of the vlog. Friggin' rights. Five and drive.